Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message that I recorded on June 26, 2023, I'll be using the illustrated Bestiary Oracle cards by Maya Toll, and here's the front of that box cover now. Absolutely beautiful with that shine. All right, let's jump right in. And as I always do off camera, I'm cutting and I'm shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love and light, universe, all signs, collective, timeless. What do we need to know from the animal spirits today? What is the most important message for those that find this video? And there it goes. It's flipped right over for us here. Ooh, what a neat card indeed. Delight in daring. Five-lined skink. Look at that card. Isn't that interesting? So right away, if you're being drawn into any of these images on the card, please know that there could be additional messages for you there, especially if you're drawn to any of these additional animals, okay? We've got a snake and a hawk and a wolf and a talon of a predatory bird here, all right? If any of that is speaking to you, if you continue to see any of these animals in your life, and certainly the skink lizard in the middle here, okay? If you have a pet lizard of this type, or right, there could be additional messages here. If you're seeing any of these other animals within your environment, your natural world, over and over again, time and time again, that hawk is flying by, or right? It seems to fly by whenever you have any kind of specific thought that hawk flies by, or right? Please know there's an additional message for you. Whenever an animal flies through, you know, or walks or crawls or swims our, through our environment time and time again, okay? Pay attention to those signs and synchronicities and realize that you are being sent those messages and to go out and do your homework and apply that to your life, okay? And if it doesn't resonate with you, Use that human intelligence, use that intuition and just leave it, all right? Only take what resonates. And certainly the color energy, all right? There's some more muted tones, some more natural tones, a variety of different tones here today. So if any of these colors speak to you in any way whatsoever, again, colors hold energy, okay? The colors that we use in our lives, either to dress ourselves, to create our art with, the colors that we choose to decorate our homes with, the cars that we pick, the types of colors in the cars that we pick, it all can have meaning for us indeed. So pay attention to that. Not only animals and colors, but numbers repeating in your life, okay? Certainly music that you hear time and time again. That could be from the other side, you know, you could have passed on loved ones trying to send you a message through a repeating song that you hear everywhere you go. So my message overall here is just pay attention to any signs and synchronicities that keep repeating in your life because those are messages for you, all right? So I invite you to pay attention. Let's jump into the booklet. And I'm reading word for word Maya Toll's words, her work, directly from this booklet. And why do I do that? Well, return watchers already know this because I mention it in every single video. I'm doing it so that I can go ahead and really honor the hard work that Maya Toll and all of the co-creators that have come together to create this beautiful deck and the words and the messages that she had in mind when creating these particular cards, okay? So, and it's a very important perspective, you know, that she's going to set up, you know, some of the, the reasoning behind the actual animal that she's chosen and what some, you know, attributes of the animal and her perspective and what, and then a message for us that includes that from the five line skink, which is a very interesting animal indeed. I know nothing about this animal, but if you do, you know, you might be an expert in the field of these types of animals, okay? So there could be definitely 
some very important messaging for you to, to digest today. So be aware of that. Or somebody you know, okay? Because we could have, this is a collective energy. This could be for anybody that finds this video. This could be for somebody that, you know, you're watching the video and find messages on behalf of somebody in your life and you take it upon yourself to bring that to their attention, okay? So just be open-minded, be mindful, and just sit back and take a good listen here and let's see what this, this five-line skink delight and daring has to offer us today. Five-line skink is an adrenaline junkie. The evil Knievel of the lizard world. Okay, very interesting. This speed demon flashes his bright blue tail, baiting hawks and snakes. Catch me if you can. Skink thrills, trills, diving into a crevice. Skink knows he's super fast, but that's not why he baits the big boys. His superpower is beyond speed. Skink can lose his tail and live. So he flicks it around like a bright blue flag and then scurries for the shadows, cackling as he goes. Skink reminds you to delight in daring, that to really live, you have to be willing to risk your tail, all right? So what a fantastic message and what a really neat and unique perspective that Maya Toll really uses when she, you know, gives that message of, of really the takeaway of being taking a risk okay and being willing to put that your tail out there so to speak for it to be potentially you know cut off and and being willing to do that knowing that you know you can recover but the first step is really taking that risk and knowing where your risks lie okay and what you're willing to lose in the process of taking that risk and that you know we can't really grow if we're not willing to change if we're not willing to take a risk okay so the message here is really for us to think about ways that we can take risks in our life okay in our lives and where those areas may be and that by continuing on in the in the patterns that we are currently you know experiencing and the cycles that we're currently experiencing if we choose not to take the risk how does that impact us and as well all right because we have you know if you look at it both ways you can take the risk to make that change that you've been wanting to make for a very long time and have had maybe fear-based thoughts in doing that you're being encouraged to do it anyway but also let's talk about the risk you take when you don't change, when you keep things the same, when you fight against the, you know, the changes that want to come through, that are knocking at your door, that are, you know, opportunities falling at your footsteps, but only if you would initiate change with these opportunities open up to you, but you found yourself you know, either in a fear-based mindset, a procrastination mindset, a mindset of lack and that you're not good enough and it keeps you and it holds you back. Well, that is a risk, okay? That is a risk in continuing that cycle of unhappiness, continuing those patterns over and over again and again where our life continues to look the same because we continually stay stagnant, all right? So there's risk can go both ways. And you need to decide today, and Spirit in the Universe, and through this message, wants to communicate to you that you're taking a risk regardless, okay? So which risk do you want to take, all right? Do you want to take the risk that offers up change and the new opportunities in life, and maybe that's super scary for you, and maybe you'll have to let go of things in order to accept that new path, that new change, or do you want to risk more of the same? 
Do you want to risk that same life of stagnant behavior, okay, by choosing to procrastinate and not choosing change? You have a choice. You have free will. You are the only one that has the ability to wake up and do something different today or stay the same. So I invite you to think about this today and really think about those areas in your life where you're choosing to stay the same or where you're facing fear head on and allowing those changes to come to you. And with that, realizing that, you know, you might lose part of your tail with this change, but you can grow it back, okay? And over time. So whatever perceived loss that you, you know, are perceiving and thinking about by taking on a change and what you're going to lose, please know that that is not actually a loss, okay? That you are actually going to gain that back and so much more by choosing change, all right? And then also that other effect by choosing to remain the same and how your life, you cannot get upset you cannot continue to hate your life or dislike your life or be upset with the picture of how your life looks because you made that choice to stay the same and you fought against the change that is being at your door. So today I invite you to really think about the areas in your life where you can apply this, okay? You're either changing and moving through the fear and doing it anyway or you're staying the same. So think about that today and which are you going to choose? Thank you so much. What a powerful message for each and every one of us. Anybody that finds this video, this can really resonate on many different levels about change and how we can change our lives and if we choose change or if we choose to stay the same. I hope this helps you. I hope this is a wonderful topic for you to contemplate today and how that can help your life, okay? Please put that best foot forward as you go about your day. Be the best human you can be. Offer up some type of lovely commentary to other people, telling them about something that you might like about them today. I really encourage you to do that. You know, simple little things that we offer up in positivity to other people can really change the trajectory of their day. And we didn't even realize that we'd have that big of an impact just by some pleasantries, you know, that we exchange with others or by some compliments that we offer up. So please be mindful how much you can change someone's day by showing up into that high vibratory state of positivity and encouraging others and being a wonderful person that you are. Enjoy the day, and remember, join me tomorrow again for another Collective Energy reading. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the subscribes. I see you. I appreciate every single one of you, okay? Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.